So a while back I came here to a place called Mexican Village, which is at the intersection of Beverly and like First and Temple and Virgil over here. It's a big uh, intersection. But in their parking lot behind me here, there used to be this big mural. Uh, it was like a Mishtek Zapotec Codex painting. And uh, when I came back to do more about that mural, uh, I found it was gone, as you can see. It's a fence now. The only part that remains is in there where the, there's some dumpsters and stuff and there's a little bit of it remaining. But I did do a whole stand-up about the mural. So even though it no longer exists here, it does exist in my video. So yeah, let's learn a little bit more about the mural that once existed here in the parking lot of the Mexican village. This is a mural. Well, it's more than a mural. It's kind of like a sculpture engraved into the building, but it has a pretty unique story. And as you can see up here, it's about these warriors, these Mexican warriors. And there's a little plaque over here I'll read. So right here we got some information about what the mural is. So it says here, Three Guerreros cruzan el lago en canoas. Even if you don't speak Spanish, it's pretty straightforward. You got three warriors, uh, they're cruising or sailing or traveling across a lake in canoes and it's a uh, para atacar una isla en el lago so they're going to attack an island in the lake habitan grotescos monstruos so the lake is inhabited by grotesque monsters and you can see here here's some of those monsters it looks like a bird uh like a lizard and then over here you know we got an alligator um and this is what uh, is the island, is this guy here at the mountain. And you can see the little darts in it uh, up there, right here is a dart. It's like a, uh, like it's been attacked. And then here's the canoe. You see there's like the big thing here and then there's another canoe back here with, with two guys on it. Uh, an interesting thing, a couple of interesting things about this one. So this bird here, uh, they find these, especially in South America, they find these amulets that kind of look like birds. Uh, and there was, I believe, a fish of some sort that actually looked like a bird. So it was very confused, like people were confused. You can see it has has fish fins in it, but that, that's definitely a fish, not a bird. So what this is, this is an Aztec. Um, you may think it's an Aztec mural because it's in the uh, Mexican village, Mexica. Um, it's not. This is a uh, Mixtec. It's called a Mixtec. And they were uh, in the south of more further. It's in the uh, Osaka, I believe is the name, the Osaka region of Mexico. Uh, they were a kingdom down there um, that predates the Mexicans or predates the Aztecs. Uh, and eventually they became a tributary of the Aztecs. And the Mixtec, what they were known as was a gold work. They were, had really great gold work and the Aztecs when they conquered them, they would use the gold for their tributaries. But this is from something called a codice or codexes. And what the codexes were, they were painted, we could call them comic books, about the history of the Mishtek. They were pretty, pretty elaborate. And they were all designed between the early 14th century. So that predates the arrival of Columbus, predates the arrival of the Spanish. They were telling their own stories. And there were a lot of these books there. Um, I believe Cortez in his, in his, the book, his diary, and some of the, the priests that were with them said there were hundreds of these things. Uh, and they ended up burning a lot of them. And I think there's only like 14 of them left in the world. But they tell the story, this particular one, and you can tell who they tell the story of from let me see oh right behind me here so you see there's this little thing uh, i mean signifies death uh they like to name their people based upon the calendar the day they were born so this guy was born in let's call it the month of death and those little circles behind him there would have been the day so if we count them one two three four five six seven eight this would be eight death um and this guy he doesn't have the circles on it but i believe that's wind or movement and the person defending this town here uh, that's actually for the deep that's a deer head right there and it's one two three four five six seven one two three four five two four six seven so that would be seven deer uh, not to be confused with this fellow over here this guy this guy is a historic character in the Mishtek uh, kingdoms he was known as Lord eight deer um, Lord Eight Deer Jaguar Claw, and you can look him up. He's a pretty famous guy, and a lot of the codexes talk about this character here, who helps solidify the uh, the kingdom of the uh, the Mishtek uh, as they fought against the Zapotec down there in Oshaka. And you can see here's his symbol uh, right there. 
Uh, there's the deer, and if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Lord, eight deer right here. So there we have it. Anyway, you can come over here to the Mexican village and you can admire their rendition of a panel from the Codex Nutel. And I'll put some links up and you could re you could see these codexes. There's a, there's a website that has them all online. They're all scanned in. Um, the resolution's, you know, questionable, but you can actually see the entire story because there's more to this. Like I know for a fact this here is not seven. If you look at the actual codex, there's actually 14 circles there. So it'd be 14 deer. And I'm planning on doing a whole video on this mural alone. So, you know, you better subscribe and you'll learn more about the... Uh, the Mishtek and the Codexes and the story behind this mural and Lord Eight Deer Jaguar Claw. Uh, I don't know if the mural has been um, per, uh, kept or moved someplace to put it on exhibit someplace else, uh, but you know, cities change. And the whole thing about getting out and walking around is the longer you do it, the more you see the change and the more you're able to say, remember what used to be there? And then you meet somebody who uh, might have lived there a long time ago and you guys can share that experience. Or, better yet, you can preserve the history through the video recordings, through photographs, and through your memories. So, as always, I encourage you to get out, see what's out in your world. Uh, you know, take it in before what's around near you might be gone. Yeah, I'll see you on the next one. As always, try to get out, enjoy the world around you, but stay safe and stay healthy.